On August 23, 2023, India stunned the world after its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft touched down near the moon's south pole, making it the fourth country to achieve such an impressive milestone after the United States, Russia, and China. India and the whole world celebrated this huge and much-needed achievement. For NASA, it was exactly what they expected and wanted from India because it is part of the amazing NASA Artemis Space Mega Project program, which aims to build the first human habitat on the moon. In fact, NASA is now contemplating the construction of several moon stations. This leads us to wonder why many countries are suddenly racing to colonize the moon. What has NASA achieved so far? When will the first habitat be launched? And what are the technologies used in this colossal space mega project? The reason the race to the moon is back on and in full swing has to do with the fact that large amounts of water have been confirmed in the moon's southern pool. This water simply makes moon habitats feasible and possible since it can be used for drinking. Farming habitats that produce food for astronauts, scientists, and even space tourists. And as a coolant for equipment and possible small nuclear reactors, such as the mobile small reactors used by the U.S. Army to generate electricity electricity. Additionally, water is an essential component of 3D printing. Autonomous 3D printers can be shipped to the moon and used to build solid habitats via the utilization of the moon's soil along with special polymers. This can mean that instead of sending large habitat modules to the moon, only a 3D printer can be sent along with lightweight strong polymers that once mixed with the moon's soil and water can be used to 3D print habitats with floors, walls, and roofs that are just as strong if not stronger than concrete, which would make them ultra safe and effective for prolonged use. Water can also be broken down into oxygen for breathing, and hydrogen which can be used as fuel and in hydrogen fuel cell batteries among other things. Other reasons include space tourism, military projects, communications, deep space exploration, and mining since experts believe that the moon holds substantial amounts of rare and precious elements. NASA is perhaps the world's best established space agency and has also become a multinational organization that works with other space agencies and nations that do not have or cannot afford space programs. The Artemis program is simply a massive multi-phase space mega project that aims to build the first human habitats on the moon and pave the way for the colonization of Mars, which will be used for manned missions farther out into the far corners of our solar system and eventually beyond. The first Artemis mission was launched on November 16th, 2022 at 8 47 a.m. as Artemis 1 ventured 280,000 kilometers away from planet Earth and beyond the moon to conduct what can be described as step one in preparation for the physical colonization of the moon. Artemis 1 has simply set the stage for Artemis 2, 3, 4, and so on. If everything goes according to plan, we can expect the first manned space station in the moon's orbit by as early as 2026 and a manned habitat on the moon as early as 2028. This majestic and quite intriguing space mega project consists of several parts, starting with the launch complex at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The Space Launch System, SLS, the Orion spacecraft, the Lunar Gateway, which is a space station that will orbit the moon, the Human Landing System, which will act as a crew habitat on the surface of the moon. You are probably wondering about the permanent habitat. Well, as far as we are aware, NASA will decide what type of permanent habitat they will build on the moon based on results from Artemis missions 2 and 3, and they might outsource the project to SpaceX or Blue Origins. Let's now decipher the various pieces of the Artemis mega project one at a time. The Space Launch System is a super heavy lift rocket that provides the foundation for human exploration beyond Earth's orbit. With its unprecedented capabilities, SLS is the only rocket that can send the Orion spacecraft, 
four astronauts and large cargo directly to the moon on a single mission. On November 16th, 2022, the first SLS, dubbed Artemis 1, launched from NASA Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39B in Florida, making history as the most powerful rocket NASA has ever launched. This high-performance rocket provides the power to help the Orion spacecraft reach a speed of 24,500 miles per hour. It can also carry up to 31 tons. The rocket's core stage features four engines called RS-20. 25 engines. Since then, more powerful configurations, hardware, and technologies have been used to make the rocket better. The new rockets are dubbed Block 1B and Block 2 variants. The SLS Block 2 has been designed to lift up to 46 tons to deep space, which is quite an improvement from Block 1. The SLS Block also features two solid rocket boosters that provide more than 75% of the rocket's thrust during the first two minutes of flight. Each booster is 177 feet tall, 12 feet in diameter, weighs 1.6 million pounds, and produces a maximum of 3.6 million pounds of thrust during launch. The Orion spacecraft is the first of its kind and is the only one ever designed for deep space missions. Orion will serve as the exploration vehicle that will carry the crew to space, provide emergency abort capability, sustain astronauts during their missions, and provide safe re-entry from deep space return velocities. The craft consists of three parts. The crew module, which is encased in a shield that can withstand temperatures up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. A service module that provides propulsion, thermal control, and thrust, as well as water and air for the crew. This module also features four retractable 7-meter-long solar wings that can rotate and pivot to track the sun and an automated docking system enabling it to merge with the future Lunar Gateway space station for up to six months at a time. The third part is the launch abort system, which is a safety system that can react in milliseconds to take the crew module to safety in case of an emergency. It features a powerful solid rocket that can produce 400,000 pounds of thrust and go from zero to 405 miles in two seconds. This takes us to the planned Gateway Space Station that will orbit the moon and provide extensive capabilities to support NASA's Artemis campaign. Gateway's capabilities are designed to support sustained exploration and research in deep space, including docking ports for a variety of visiting spacecraft, space for the crew to live and work, and onboard science investigations platforms to study heliophysics, human health, and life sciences, among other areas. Gateway will be humanity's first space station in lunar orbit. It will feature the power and propulsion element, which is a high-power, 60-kilowatt solar electric propulsion system that will provide power, high-rate communications, attitude control, and orbital transfer capabilities for the station. This beauty will be launched in 2025 on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy. This station will receive the Orion spacecraft and crew and prepare them for missions on the moon's surface where they land via the human landing system. HLS. The human landing system, HLS, is the mode of transportation that will take astronauts to the lunar surface as part of the Artemis program. NASA awarded a contract to SpaceX of Hawthorne, California, for its Starship HLS that will put the first Artemis astronauts on the moon. NASA and SpaceX teams are working together to ensure the company's design meets all of the mission and safety requirements. NASA is also working with Blue Origins along with SpaceX. Each of these two space giants will perform one uncrewed demonstration mission prior to the use of their system on the Artemis III mission, when finally, man and woman will land on the moon and commence research for the development of a permanent habitat, hopefully by 2030. Because let's face it, we just cannot wait. Thank you for watching and please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.